it's Erica back on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. It is also a brand new year. It's 2023. Um, but as you who are regulars on the channel, you might have noticed that I have not been here for a little while. I had the unfortunate uh, luck of getting struck down with uh, COVID really, really, really badly uh, about two weeks before we were due to move. So, <laughs> yes, super sick. Big house move, and yeah, I uh, it, this is gonna sound super dramatic, but I'm I'm actually quite surprised that I didn't die because it was so bad. But I'm here, I am in my brand new craft room. Um, it is not completely set up yet, so you might notice there's like the light is slightly off or it's a bit wobbly, and also I am quite rusty. I haven't made a video in over two months now, so. Please bear with me. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do one of my things that I usually do every now and again. And I am going to be using up some spare pieces. So I have here quite a lot of um, the uh, Athena Meraki Flora Paradise cut out. in, And these are all cut out, out of um, colored cardstock. And I'm pretty sure I used just colors from uh, Lawn Fawn. But... Um, there should be some amazing uh, colored uh, cardstock options available from the Crafts Mirror store, including some from Spellbinders. Although I should probably check that before I make any promises. But um, there will be options of making your own, of course. I mean, you can cut these out out of uh, white cardstock and just either ink blend or just dab your ink pads on top and uh, or even use like Copics or watercolors or Lindy's powders or something like that just to add a pop of color but um oops I think I might have a power cut so my I think my light source is gone oops okay so um I'm gonna keep it cheaper jabbering like that did not just happen uh so here I am going to pick out some very spring-like colors of my tulips here and we're gonna have lots of leaves and stems so we're gonna start with the flowers themselves and we are going to layer these up and then we're going to use a little bit of present seal we're gonna pick these up flop them over and then we're gonna puzzle in the stems and all the other bits like leaves Right, I have a little bit of cotton candy brain after uh, my COVID. I, I can't kind of, it seems very difficult for me these days to think straight and focus. So please bear with me. I'm sorry if it's all kind of mismatched and uh, I've been messy. Hopefully I will get back into the swing of things and things will be smoother for the rest of the videos this year. But Right, I think that is going to be, that, that's going to, probably going to be our cluster. Okay, my light is back. So hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing here. So I, while my light um, was off, I cut out a little piece of um, present seal. So what we're going to do is we are going to just place this on top, like so. And then we're going to press down on top of the flowers. And they should be staying in the right place like that. Okay. So on the back here, what we're going to do, we're going to leave them as they are. And then we're going to take some of these stems. And a lot of these will be quite a lot too long, which is quite good. Because what you can do is, I know, I'm a massive, massive scissors here, instead of uh, like little short ones. But what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, crack on with this. But first, I'm going to make sure that I don't have little pieces already okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these into little pieces and then these are gonna go where basically the stems would go normally but we're not gonna waste all of those um spaces so instead of cutting out like 12 uh six or 10 different stems we're just going to cut out a few and then we're going to add these so that it kind of looks like there are stems for each one of the flowers and then here at the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to then go 
uh, with more so that it actually looks like each one of these flowers have got a stem. So we're going to go like so. Maybe a little bit shorter. All right, so we're going to just keep puzzling these until we have a nice bouquet. And then also what you're going to want to do is try to get them all so that they come down into like a cluster. So because um, then on top of these, we're then also going to add in some uh, leaves to make it really sort of organic looking. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of uh, liquid glue and we're going to just, oh, this made a bit of a mess, so we're going to wipe that off and then we're going to just put like a tiny, tiny drop where everything kind of meets because you don't want to overload this with, with glue. And then some of these, like with the leaves, for instance, you can just lift them a little bit and add that glue down so that everything kind of sticks together before we then flop this over and pop it onto a card base. Right, so while we're waiting for that to dry, it's nearly, I think we're getting there because you can see that some of the glue bits are starting to go clear, but there's still a lot of white there. So we are going to wait just a little while longer and we're gonna push those up out of the way a little bit and the glue as well and then we'll put those two over there now um so we obviously need a card background and i have this piece of pre-foiled um this is uh, the pagoni mania hot foil plate and i've done this with the lavender petal foil and it is just so so nice oh i hope you can catch that it's so pretty and I think it's going to go really nicely with the purple in the tulip bunch there. So we are going to just have a, like a little sneak peek, I think. So put that up and oh yeah, that's going to look good. Now the question is, do we add a little bit of foam tape on this or do we just glue them down quite flat because it's going to be quite bulky anyway with all of these flowers. And you know what? I think I've just answered my own question. So what we're going to do, we're just going to add um, glue uh, directly to these. And we are not going to build up anymore. We might do some with the extra leaves on, the, uh, on top of this. But we'll see how it goes. It's always a roller coaster in my craft room. And uh, I figured... <laughs> Why stop that now? Hey? So, and again, apologies for the sniffles and the uh, huffing and the puffing. I'm I'm still kind of struggling quite badly with my uh, respiration. It just seems like my, my lungs are taking forever to recover and kind of getting back. And it feels like I'm constantly like filled with gunk inside. So it's hard to breathe properly. Ay, ay, ay. Right, so let's see if we're actually in the middle. There we go. Okay, so we are going to pop this down like so. And then all we got to do is smooth this out. And oh, there's a little bit of glue sticking out or squeezing out in between. But you can see there's definitely stems showing from here there so yeah i think we are good and then once you're pretty sure that these are stuck down you got to give the glue a little bit of time to kind of settle uh we are going to gently lift here because the stems are not all glued down and then we're going to hold this and then we're just going to gently peel this off and everything stays exactly where it's meant to go when it came time to adhering the leaves i kept going back and forth and back and forth and in the end, I actually decided to not put any more leaves on whatsoever. But I should have, in hindsight now, I should have put a few more in the background. But you live and learn. Full mind uh, set. So we're going to go for something kind of inspirational. I kind of set it as a bit of a motto for 2023. So um, beautiful minds inspire others. That's always good. That's a good one. 
let your soul shine enjoy the little things focus on the good hmm reach for the stars now let's go focus on the good we're gonna go simple but to the point so i've already preloaded my misty here my mini misty with a bit of cardstock and uh, we are going to stamp this up actually we're gonna push this all the way down to the bottom and then we're gonna try to get this on straight and then we're gonna just have a thin strip of sentiment and I think that's straight but sometimes you never know until you actually stamp it so I'm gonna use some blackout detail ink from ink on three and we're gonna dab it dab it dab and stamp and oh it's straight but we do need a, a little bit more ink yeah I think I think it's straight anyway fairly sure it's straight I tell you like my faculties are not definitely not all there yeah so yeah focus on the good okay okay so I'm still fighting with myself what to do if I should add some bling to this or not I mean maybe the foil is enough but I kind of I kind of want to but at the same time I'm like let's not be a one trick pony Erica step away from the bling it doesn't you know it's not gonna kill you not to use bling every once in a while but ugh, it's it's just fun isn't it but <clears throat> okay so I have stuck on the sentiment and I have apparently made a little bit of a boo-boo hopefully it's just a bit of glue and then I've stuck this down onto like a propped up panel so that it gives that little bit of extra just just a little bit of extra you know layers and dimension is all good isn't it so yeah again no you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna stop right here and i'm going to not add any bling ah okay way to go start the 2023 no bling Ooh, okay well hopefully you have enjoyed this video and um all my jibba jabber and sniffling sorry about that again and uh I will be back next week with hopefully less sniffles and more creativity and most definitely some bling. Yes, there's only so long you can uh, stop this gal from using bling. So that is it from me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Really appreciate you being here, especially because this dragged on and became kind of a long video. Um, and if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Thank you.